What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. Today we're on the Old Daddy account because we've got a lot of orbs here, we need to spend them. Um, but also because tomorrow-ish is when the monthly reset happens on the PvP account, so I can get into my fusings and all that good jazz and upgrade my Obi-Ron and have good times. In the meantime, though, I need to get some stuff done over here. We've got a lot of orbs. We've got 307 of them. Now, I'm not going to buy any more orbs to go for four completions because... <laughs> I'm in pretty deep in this event already between the other accounts. So, old accounts getting shafted. You're just going to run with what you got. Not a big deal, though. It's still three completions. That's not a bad thing. Um, so, it's good. The plan. The plan B. Okay, first, before we get into the plan, today's video is going to be super late. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apologize right here in the video because I know it's going to be late. I slipped into a mini coma last night, slept for like 36 hours. I didn't. It was like 11 hours. But I woke up and I was like, oh my god, we're late. Um, <laughs> so, that's my bad. Anyways... The plan, the plan, is this account is my PvE account, okay, I use it mainly to fight bosses, it's kind of fun that way, but a couple of things that I kind of want to do, and one of those is I just, I want to build scaries, I want to make a, a scary cheese team, because I like scary, but it doesn't really fit on any of my other accounts, so when it comes to the PvP account, scary doesn't really work there, he's not a great in-game PvP unit, he does get kind of pooped on, um, when it comes to the mid-tier account, Obviously, Scary is not very mid-tier, um, so that's not going to be a thing. So this is really the only account that I can build Scary on right now without building a whole new account, which I really don't want to do, because that's very expensive. Um, so I'm thinking, we'll try to convert this account into a Scary Cheese account and start building some Scaries. Before we build Scary, though, we are going to be E3-ing Bell Ray before we start E3-ing Scaries on the side, because I need to get her maxed. Also, getting Heart Watcher enabled up like at least once for more health, probably not a bad idea. Um, just kind of keep her alive a little better. But, the game plan today, we're going to go a double completion in Abyss to get some stuffs, and then the last 80, we can bounce around. I need a little bit of food here in Shadow, so I might have to spin there, um, and I also, I, don't, I need a little bit, I think a teeny tiny tiny bit of food here in Fortress to get a 9 star Valentino to feed him out. Because obviously at a PvE account, Valentino is trash, you don't need him, unless you're talking about like the Tower of Oblivion, which I'm not that worried about. Um, so there we go. That's the game plan. So we're going to jump in. We're just going to hop to it. And we're just going to start just dumping orbs into the old abyss place. Now we're going to stop when we get to 147, because I believe that will stop us at two completions. First 10 bomb. Here we go. Here we go, 10 bomb. Come on, scaries. We got a queen. It's not bad. Five stars is food. Five stars is good. <laughs> you like that rhyming? It's exactly how it sounds in the English. English? Whatever. I can't even words today. Like I said, I slept for 11 hours. My brain's not even awake yet. It's crazy. Um, so the main, like I said, main thing we're looking for today, scaries. Everything else, like if you get five stars, that's great. Four stars, I can fuse into five stars, it's great. But primarily, it's scary day. And if we don't get scaries through orbs, guess what? We've got branches. We're going to have a lot of branches. We're already at 4,000. We got another five star there. It's hot. Uh, so we're already at 4,000. We've got a lot of orbs left to go. So, I mean, I would assume, which is dangerous. You, you don't want to assume very often, but I would assume we could probably land... Ooh, look at that. Triple five star. Distracted. Um, we can probably land a scary, I would hope, in like 50 plus replacements. If we can't, well, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> you know, that's just... Whatever. What are you going to do? Sometimes that's just the way things go. Another five star. Give me the gusta. Give me all the gustas. <sighs> We're blasting through here. Ooh. Two of those suckers. Hundred of them shards. Hot stuff, destroyer. Um, so we're, is that, it's over a full completion already, isn't it? I think it is. I think it is, but it's okay. We've got more time. We've got another double five-star pool there as well. Keep go, keep going, game. Keep throwing me all the five-stars. Throw me all the five-stars in the world. I'll take it. But if you could throw me like a five-star scary just from the orbs, that would be just peachy. <laughs> I would be okay with that. I would not argue even for a moment. Oh, but I'll, I ain't argue with that either. Give me two more five stars. And like I said, we have almost, almost, almost up to 60. 60 replacements. Now we are at 60 replacements. That's hot. And we've got two elite five stars to pull out a shard for him, so that's also a potential. That's also a potential there. So mm, four stars, not a huge deal. Come on, scary. In the last 10 bomb, be a scary. Or don't be a scary. Okay, whatever. Not a huge deal. I'm not going to be upset about it because it's not that big of a deal. We're going to take a slight break here. How many hero slots do I have open? A lot. A decent amount. Like, 39 slots. We've got 25 stars here, which I don't think I need to pull out those. I do. I do kind of need to pull those out. Let's do it. Let's pull all 20 of these out because I need to get see where my food situation is for the other factions to know where I need to spend my orbs or not. So, boop. Let's jump into here. We've got three, four, five fortress. Two, three, four, five of those. Six. Okay. Seven. 
and six. So we did pretty well action the factions I needed food in, um, I believe. Yeah, so we've got what? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I need two more um, shadow heroes to get one of these to nine star. I'm not going to be building up Horus just yet. And if I swap to a scary cheese team, probably won't need a Horus. Unless I do like a ruin, like Aspen, Dasmog, Scary, Scary, Horus, and I guess another Horus. Because that's really all you'd want to build from shadow for PvE. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. I don't know. How are we looking over here? So we're... I'm assuming we're good here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Even if I didn't use those Valentinos. Yeah, still got a nine star here. Guaranteed, which is great. It means I can get my bell rain up to E1, and that's hot news. So maybe a couple of orbs here. How many did I need? Go back and remath. One, two, three, four. Seven star. One, two, three, one. Okay, well, we're only one short. I could probably fuse that up, to be honest. Can I fuse that up? Sure can. Sure can. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, boom. Get up there. Now we're ready to nine star there. Two nine stars. That's a potential E2. Ooh, male. Oh, yeah. We completed the event. Give me all that crap. Give me all the crap for two completions. I forgot about that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. I don't need the Heart Watchers or the King Bartons. I do kind of like the Lilies. The Lilies are nice. But now that we've done that, and I am now very assured that I've got a nine star in two different areas ready to go, I could just go back in here, and we can drop another 80 in Abyss. Let's just do it. Let's just go 80 more into Abyss. And that's going to leave us at, what, 67? 67 it is. It's 67. Oh, that's Forest. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. I needed those. Okay, obviously, totally on purpose. <laughs> totally on purpose. Let's keep going here, over here in the Abyss faction. There we go. There we go. Like I said, it's, it's early for me. My brain's not awake. <laughs> I'm, I'm making good decisions. Okay, it's what I do. So let's keep rolling here, man. The scaries are just not coming out of here. Actually, honestly, really nothing elite is dropping from the orbs. And that's usually my experience with the orbs themselves. Is orbs, in my experience, normally don't drop you very many truly elite heroes. Um, sometimes they do. Like, you could consider Karim elite, even though he's not even a little bit. Um, but that's five-star heroes, so I'll take it. Um, but yeah. Usually you get a lot of food from your orbs. It's your replacements that have the better chance to get you the heroes you actually want. So that's how I usually look at it. And we are sitting at, oh, really? Just a sneeze under 80 replacements. That makes me sad inside. It makes me almost want to drop like one more orb. There we go. Totally worth. <laughs> totally worth get over 8,000. And let's check out what we got here again. That's right. Another uh, whole completion. Give me more of the stuff. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff, and actually now we've got even more five-star shards. I don't even know if I can open all my stuff. Got 30 slots. What are you going to give me? Seven slots? I can do that. Two of these? And we got, look at all these dudes. Tons of them. Tons of them. Um, let's open these suckers up one at a time. One at a time, that's important. Walter. Ott. King Barton. Well, good lord, I've got King Bartons out the wazoo now. I've got King Bartons everywhere. Um, that's four of them. Oops, that's the wrong button. Do I have any over here? I do. That's five. That's ten star King Barton. Not that I'm going to build him over here because, eh. I mean, he works decent in PvE, like for seal land and stuff. I'm um, in tower. Um, but outside of that, like for boss damage, pretty much not that great. <sighs> we don't have a lot of spots. We do not have many spots at all. So let's go ahead and let's get a nine star fused up. And how many relics does a guy have? Oh, we're so close. Oh, ah, no, we're still not close. But, well, but. We need to get another 13 relics to buy two bell reigns. So we're not quite there yet. I mean, I could get a couple. What, two, four, six? Two, four, six. It's 12. Oh, we could do it if we made a 10 star. Eh. Not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and just get some stuff fused up. Um, so for you, first we got to get you leveled up because that's how we do things. <laughs> People tell me, Wrath, why don't you just get an auto clicker? Why don't you just use a macro? Isn't that the way to go? Probably. Um, a, I don't know how to do that. B, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, I got fingers. They click just fine. And it, is it really, oops, is it really that much faster? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to, the three seconds it saves me on this. I don't think it's worth the effort to put into it. So we're just going to, oops. <laughs> well, three seconds might have been an understatement. Um, here we go. Let's get you up there to the level of 100 and, well, just 100. But now you could go to 140, but you're not. You're going to become a nine-star food.
So I don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Get out of here. Get out of here, you filthy peasants. No one likes you guys. How about this? We'll go with another one of you, another one of you, another one of you. Perfect. Confirm. And then one of you. There we go. Get him to a hot eight star. And then it's nine star time. Valentino over here surpassing the level of Valentino on my PvP account, which is sad, but actually not that big of a deal. So boop, boop. Well, we still have quite a bit left over, actually. This makes me think. This makes me think in my brain hole. If we were to pull out a bunch of crap over here, could we make a 9 star here? Make Valentino a 10 star here? And a 9 star here? But we're still short the Bell Rain copy. How about we use our Glyn here? Is it Glyn we're going to make? Or no? No, it's going to be Lutz. Lutz, you're... Wait. Could it be Bade? No, it's going to be Lutz, right? Yes. Lutz is the only one. He is the only possible option for 9-star right now. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could do it that way. You know what I'm saying? And then leave Valentino as a 9-star waiting to become a 10-star, because when he gets 10-star, I can use him as the 10-star food for Bellrain to E3, and then I can safely move on to upgrading Scaries and not worry about anything. You know, got my bell ring done. I mean, do we still need to upgrade Heart Watcher? Maybe, but maybe not. I know she dies right now at 10 star, but my bell ring is also pretty weak. Um, she's only a 10 star herself. So getting bell ring to E3 will obviously boost her healing by a substantial amount, hopefully enough to keep my Heart Watcher alive. Um, but on top of that, if I actually built my bell ring like a not a dummy, um, like mine right now, I've got a speed HP stone, I think, on her, and a speed HP artifact. You're like, Wrath, is that stupid? Yes. In some cases, it can be beneficial. Getting her a buff out earlier in the battle can make a slight change. But if you're losing heroes because they're dying, obviously swapping her to attack-based build will be better. Um, so a double attack stone with an attack attack artifact or something will obviously boost that healing by a pretty substantial amount. And that's going to make a pretty big difference, I'd say, in keeping things alive. So... That's what we're going to push for on our Bell Rain probably after I get her upgraded, is swapping her over to a more Healy based Bell Rain for PvE, obviously. And if that can keep my Heart Watcher alive at 10 star in the Wave 3 Broken Spaces, then I don't have to worry about nothing. I can leave her at 10 star and then start focusing immediately on getting Scaries upgraded. Because really, in a Scary Cheese team, the ultimate goal would be four Scaries, a Heart Watcher, and a Bell Rain. Um, in the meantime, though, I'll have to swap out, like, probably Das Moog, because he's a little inconsistent, doesn't hit super duper hard. Um, hopefully, they rework him, like, really, really fast. Because I'm like really, really, really close to on the fence to swapping him out. Because he's just, like he does decent damage. He has potential to hit pretty hard. But he's just, he's he's not that great. Like I would much rather have an Aspen, even for PvE in most cases, um, than I would a Das Moog. So, eh, it's dang. But with that said, ooh, we got more stuff. Oh yeah, we did. Nine star, give me that. Give me that. And let's go ahead and get you upgraded to the nine star level, my friend. By using you, 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 and you. Hot. Get up there, be a seven-star Lutz. You're beautiful. Everyone loves you. You're the face of idle heroes. Truly he is. And let's go ahead and throw those three in like so, and a six-star like, I don't know, that dude, not Horus. <laughs> don't throw Horus in there. You're going to need that guy maybe one day later down the road. Throw you in, throw you in, and throw two of eeny, meeny, miny. How about a field? Actually, we're going to leave the field. You might be like, Rath, why would you leave the field? Well, I'll tell you why I leave the field, okay? I'll tell you. Here in four seconds. Give me that. Give me that. Check this out. I've never made one, so, <laughs> so so I need to get him to a six star to kind of fill out my gallery. My gallery's looking sparse in the six star area, so something we got to work on. But anyways, with that said, with that done, oh, give me two more relics. We're just getting relics out the wazoo. Oh, we're so close. We're just nine relics off. Is there a way without wasting all my monies I could get more relics? The answer is nay. Right? Yes. I mean, the only way I have to do all of this, which I am really bad about doing the Trial of Champion over here, it's PvE account, okay? <laughs> Messing in PvP, I don't do a lot of. I've already finished that out. There's no way I can get more there. I'd have to make another 9-star here to get to, if we 153 plus 4. <sighs> Broken spaces. I mean, I could, it's doable if I really wanted to waste a bunch of time and do it. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to waste a bunch of time and do it. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go in here and be like, hey, Bell Rain, how you doing? And everybody else out there is like, Rath, are you stupid Buy an Ada? Well, I am stupid and I'm going to buy a Bell Rain because I want Bell Rain. 
is a PVE account, not a PVP account. Okay, get over yourselves. Um, so looking in here, we're going to go ahead and snag you out because we need you. Um, there you go. Oh, looking good, Bell Rain. We've got quite a bit of Abyss heroes here, mostly in food form. Um, but also, like as soon as Month of Refresh hits, I've got some I've got some shards. I've got a lot up here, actually. I don't need all those in there either. I don't know. We'll, I'll worry about cleaning the bag out at a later date, because right now I'm not that worried about cleaning the bag out. What I am worried about is Bell Rain getting the old upgrade. Let's go ahead and get you upgraded. Let's do it, Bell Rain. Eeny, meeny, miny. We're going to go with Lutz here. We're going to go with Bell Rain, Cappy. And we're going to get you to... Do we want to pump attack on you? It seems like a smart idea. Let's do it. Enable. Enable the Bell Rain. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ooh. She even gained quite a bit of HP there. Not bad, Bell Rain. Look at all of our billions of stuff. We're going to go through a little bit of it here, but not a ton. Ooh, still over a hundred. Good lord. Still have a billion, a hundred million. 91,000 attacks, not bad. I think it's time. We blow. Look at this. Look at this. Over half a million dust. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We're looking for double attack here. That's what I'm going for. Um, I feel like that's probably the best build. Or at least if for a healing, Bell Rain's probably the best. If I could get one, that would be great. Um, I don't think she's armor break. She's not a damage dealer. I'm trying to get rid of speed HP, so I don't even know why that pops up. Don't really want double HP Zors. Come on, game. I mean, I, I know I've got a lot of resources. Doesn't mean I want to spend them all <laughs> trying to get the, the attack stone here. Okay? Good lord, game. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we're on the same page. Ooh, baby, 131k? Not bad. And if I swapped her out to have three P6 star gear and just this, do I even have the ability to do that? Is that a possibility? Can I do that? Let's look at my people. Who do I not use that might have gear on them? Not you. Mm, you've got two P6 star. But. But. Um, can we fuse up a six star set? Oh, we are really going to be short there. Are you donging me, game? Are you done? We'll, we'll fuse up a little bit of stuff. I'll see if I can make it. Get that in there. How's that looking? Looking hot, looking good. How about this? Get one of them fused up. Is that going to be enough? Oh, is it going to be enough? Tell me it's enough. Tell me it's enough, baby. It's enough. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Give me this. Boots. Yes, I need boots. Don't need a weapon. I don't need a weapon at all. I just need this. These three pieces. And if you guys don't know what like mixing your sets does, essentially it just allows you to stack up higher stats in a certain area. Like everyone does it on Valkyrie. You get the two piece six star gear piece because you've got 16% HP and you gain like, what is it? 26% HP from this. So you end up with a huge amount more HP than if you ran full ranger gear. The similar thing over here with priests. If you want a priest to have really high attack, you don't run full priest. You run the priest weapon because the priest weapon gives you like quite a bit of attack. What is that? Um, 11, 18% attack. Plus then if you run the six star gear set, which we'll swap to, let's look at her stats, 131k. Um, there we go. If you swap to the six star gear set, when you get to three piece, you get 21% attack. So you gain a big amount of attack by swapping this way. You just lose a lot of HP doing it that way. So go ahead and swap her around this way. Like, so, like, so, like, so, and now she ends up at 140,000 attack. So she gained nearly 10,000 attack doing that did lose some HP. Absolutely. Um, but as a healer, it's not really super duper important. And again, with the artifact, you can swap that around a reduced damage HP. If you want her to stay alive a little longer, if you're looking for more damage output or not damage healing output, I guess you look for something with some kind of attack of 18% attacks, actually pretty high. And there we're looking at 165,000 attack on an E1 bell rain. Not bad. Very low HP though, which makes me really kind of want to run this just to make sure she doesn't die. I can deal with a little less attack if she's got enough reduced damage to not, you know, just get killed <laughs> i guess that's not good that is not good so that's not a bad little swap over there One hundred and forty thousand attack means i would say substantially better healing you know what we need to do we need to do a little bit of battling we can just smash through these guys because let's be honest can i kill them in one i feel like i should be able to kill these guys in one hit um, i don't know what area they attack i forgot i have forgotten um but i would assume we'll just kill them in one go yeah okay Hiccup. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to wave two here. Even though I don't, Bell Rain's not going to die on wave two anyway. You know, whatever. Um, these guys hit everybody, so it doesn't matter really the order of your team. They are warriors, though. So swap. Let's, let's play it not super dumb. Let's swap some correct artifacts in on people. Don't need a mage artifact on you. I would indeed like that, though. Um, Antler's Cane is just fantastic on you in general. Oak's Heart works fine for you. I think everybody else is just pretty much supporting me. Um, you don't need that either, though. We could go with the crit, which is probably not a bad idea, because I think I got a crit stone on you, don't I? You. So that gives you a little more chance to crit. What are you at? 40%? Pfft. 
Punisher staff would be very... Ooh, wait. Wait a minute. Not that it matters. We're not going to be able to buy the uh, the Punisher staff here. We're a little light in the pockets, as you can see. Um, what we can do is we can buy an Aspen here. Cause I do, Aspen is my jam, dude. I love Aspen, so I'm buying an Aspen. Get out of there. And I'm going to also buy this scary skin just for the future, because why not? There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're out of lilies now. That's going to be um, it's gonna be forever a mystery. We'll never have it, but it's okay. Ooh, male. Oh, yeah, we killed that dude. Get out of here with that weak crap. Let's jump over here now. I don't know what I stopped to do that for. It wasn't really important. <laughs> but it was important to me at the time. Um, so let's go ahead and watch this one out and kind of see where things go. I kind of want to mainly see what Bell Rain's heels go up to now that she's got just, you know, buttloads of attack. Um, that's kind of the important thing. Because if she can keep everybody alive, we'll be good. And that's that's what I really want. I want her to keep everybody in good health because that's important. she doing it? Plus, she boosts the healing effect, which is nice. He's a heal Das Moog, that's what I'm saying. He's such a squishy little fart. He's so squishy. It's kind of sad, actually. Like, he's... Like, he would have really good potential if they reworked him. <laughs> he, he would be a much better hero if they fixed him from sucking hugely. Um, but, like, Aspen. Aspen may not be, like, the biggest, hugest PvE damage nuker um, pre-35%, even though I assume he would still do much better in most cases than Das Moog does. Um, but anyways, slow it down here at eight rounds, because I, I like to see the bigger damage come in. Um, but yeah, at least Aspen builds reduced damage up to round five. So he does give himself quite a bit of tank ability. That 26 million damage from Shia without a crit? Not bad, Shia. Not bad, Shia. You're doing all right by me. We're good friends. Um... Man, Sig's counterattacks are as nasty too. I like it. I like it. Cha! 14 million damage. Ooh, 17 million out of the Sigmund. That's not bad. But yeah, I don't know. It's Dasmoke's just such a squishy dude that it makes me feel like he needs some love in a real bad way. Because he's not only like a B tier unit for PVE now. He also seems like a he's a he's a, like a, a D tier unit for PvP. So. It's one of those things, like, for a dark hero, he's just so outclassed by even regular faction heroes in a lot of situations that it's, at this point, he does need a rework. I mean, there's a few heroes out there that are kind of like that. Like, I would say that Gurky, even though he is the easiest to build Light Priest, should still be one of the best priests in the game because he's a Light Faction hero. He should not be getting outdone by things like Ormus or Vesa. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense to me that the Gurkinator would be kind of weak he shouldn't be um so like I, I would say light and dark overall like every single hero in light and dark probably needs to be buffed to be like just a smidge at least a smidge better than every regular faction counterpart that's just the way i see it so here we go rounding things off at where's my mouse there it is found it we're good how would we it oh my god <laughs> holy crap that's nearly two billion damage what just happened what happened Good lord, Das Moog, I take it all back, you're a great hero, I was talking crap on you, but you're fantastic. Look at that, Shia dropping nearly half a billion damage, he dropped over half a billion, Sigmund's like, what's that weak crap, here I am sitting with 60, 600 millions. Not bad. Not bad, Siginator, you did pretty good, but Bell Rain's heals, 43 million. Not crazy bad, um... But again, everyone stayed alive, and that's really what I was going for. Oh, wait, did we even swap enables around to be PvE-ish? Or have I ever swapped them back? Right, okay, he's, he's all ready to go. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage potential we just missed. We just missed so much possible damage out there. Shia, what in the absolute butt crack were you doing to me? Sigmund, you should always be. No, you're not. <laughs> we might be able to break 2 billion today. We might be in the 2 billion club if we get another attack like that. That was hot. That was super hot. That was hot and nasty. I like it. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let's go back. Let's go back and see if we can't break. Look at that damage chunk in one hit. That's, that's attractive. That is attractive to me. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go, team. Man, I can't believe that junk. And they were they were just set up like mere peasants, PvP peasants. Psh, who uses that crap? Like I said, as long as we can keep everyone alive with Bell Rain, um, that means we can swap our enables more over to the PvE side of damage and not have to worry about survivability. Generally speaking, Das Moog is the only person um, that really has issue with survivability because he has no heal. Like, at least Amuvor does get healed by your team just when they cast active skills, which is nice. It's actually very handy 
<clears throat> throat clear. To have a little bit of extra built-in self-sustain like that. Bellrain, could you please heal Das Moog one time in your life? That would be beautiful. There we go. Okay, I take it all back. You're doing all right now. <laughs> You're doing good. Look at those heals. Brings him back up from the, the the pits of death. I lose my mouse like every. I'm like looking for it. Like where the crap is it? I found it. Everybody, calm down. I know where it is. I know where it is now. Get in there, Sigmund. Ooh, that was a hot round for Siggy there. That was like 40 million damage dropped. Plus he gets the counterattack. Not bad, Siggy. Not bad, my dude. Ah, <sighs> go team. 14 million basic attack. We know how this goes, <clears throat> but I still want to see it. I just want to watch it all happen. Because now I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. I don't think we're gonna gain. Three like like 210 million damage by swapping enables. I don't think it'll happen, but you never know. I mean, I might pop up with two billion and just fart a rainbow. <laughs> it could happen. If I did fart a rainbow, I should probably get that on video because that would probably get some serious viewage. You know what I'm saying? I think it would. Anyway, it's not important. Here we go. We're rounding up round 12. Sigmund's counterattacks dropping over 10 million damage. Love the E3 Sig. <clears throat> That's 24 million damage over time just hit that dude right there. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. That's like 50 million damage from Sig's active skill there. Plus 24 million. That's like a 70 million damage round for Sigmund. That's hot. That is like super disgusting. I like that. Um, are we going to get an active skill drop? No, we're not. Oh. Still okay. Still all right. I think we're on track for a pretty good run here. I would say it's at least going to be what we did last time, right? That would just make sense. Good Lord, Sigmund, you are just a freak. You are a freak. Oh, close, close. 1.8 billion damage. We are moving up. We're just, we're, we're tickling on the door of the Big Daddy Damage Club. She has somehow managed to drop less damage that round than last round by swapping her to PvP enables, or PvE enables. Not sure why. Um, Daddy Moog outdid the Sig monster. That's not bad. I'll take that, I'll take that. Sigmund outdid himself a little bit as well, not by a huge amount. But I really want to see... want to see some big, big damage. Ooh, Bell Raindrop, 40 million damage? It's funny to look at it, because it's like, oh, it's not very big, like the bar is small. But that's 40 million damage from a healer. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad, Bell Rain. Good job, my friend. Good job. 44 million heals. <clears throat> How much HP do you guys got left? 56 million. I just want to kind of beat you one more time. And just next it and see if we can break 2 billion. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch it all out. I, I understand how it's going to probably go. But I want to see... Oh. Ugh. 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 So, there you go. The inconsistency sh rear their ugly head. Bell Rain didn't even do very well. She was like, yeah, I dropped 18 million damage. What the crap happened, Bell Rain? What the crap? You dropped like 30 million more damage last time. I don't know what happened to her. But I'm sad about it. She is picking up the pace. Half a billion damage. Das Moog's like, I don't know what the crap happened. I, you know, I, I stubbed my toe. I dropped my sword. I had to punch him once. I don't know what you did, Das Moog, but it wasn't good. It was bad. And this is where right here, oh, getting in this range, this is where Aspen just becomes a freak. And I don't have one, and it makes me sad. We'll just next through this as well, though. We'll, just, we'll next it. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to, He'll probably die this round is the problem. Ugh, 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 ugh. That's horrible. Das Moog, what happened to you? You were good. You were doing well. Then I start nexting the battles to see big damage, and you're like, yeah, I suck again. Well, congratulations, Das Moog. You suck. You're on the way to the chopping block. I'm telling you that right now. I feel like in this account that I actually have, like, the 10-star Heart Watcher, I've got the E1 Bell Rain, I've got the Cruise. If I swapped him for Aspen, I feel like Aspen would probably consistently outdamage him. Could be wrong there. Um, but I feel like he probably would. You know? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm assuming Mr. One guy's dead, and it's just going to be one guy to fight now, is it? Yeah. How much damage is that going to drop us? Ugh, down to 800 million. That's pathetic. Pathetic damage. She is damaged, doesn't suffer really all that much, because, you know, she only hits one person. Everybody else goes down pretty bad. 150 million, I mean, Daddy Moog. Is that really necessary? Is that low kind of damage necessary? The answer is no. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you could do better. 8 million damage, 800 million, 8 million. If that was 8 million, I'd be very sad. But yeah, I mean, uh, he just, I don't know. He doesn't hit super duper hard, super consistently. I don't know. 1% HP. I can take that. 100%. We'll take that down. Ah, dead. Defeated. What the crap? What'd he do? He went Super Saiyan. Um, he was hiding his power level the whole time. <laughs> but here's the real test. I want to see what we can do at wave 3 
running all PVE enables? Are we going to die very quickly, even with our Bell Rain souped up for heals, um, or what's going to happen? So that's going to be my test right meow. Let's see what happens. Um, let's probably go two times speed. Actually, if things go really bad, we'll be able to see it really quickly. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my god. So they do hit quite hard. And this is where it really, I think, is going to still rely on RNG because Bell Rain does not heal everyone. She only heals, like, what, three or four people? Which means if her heals don't land on the proper people, it's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad day. Plus, we might have to swap some, uh, some of those last passives over to, uh, which columns? Resilience. Yeah, looks like Daddy Moog's probably going to die because he hasn't been healed yet, which is beautiful. It's exactly, I mean, when you're, when you're an E3, and there's a 10-star heart watcher who's like, listen, you're a pansy. You should go punch yourself in the face. That should say something. Like, Das Moog is just, when it comes to high-end PvE, he's kind of garbage. Maybe I just suck at building Das Moogs, um, but I'm just really not impressed by him. Like, he does okay in certain situations. Even she is getting kind of hurt on here a little bit, though. So, I mean, you can't say too much. She's going to die as well. Um, but, I mean, even with Resilience... The fact that he dies so quick, he just, he goes down very fast. He doesn't have a lot of HP. I don't know. I feel like he could be, he definitely is in need of a substantial buff. Well, it's next, this one's not going to be a very big damage number. Not even a billion. You are pathetic and I hate your whole family. Sigmund's like, I don't know what you weenies are doing dying. I'm Sigmund. I give no craps. Look at that. 68 million damage. You're pathetic. You're pathetic and your whole family's pathetic. I don't love you anymore. I don't love you, Das Moog. Das Moog. You stinky turd. Let's go ahead and <laughs> swap you over to Resilience, give you a little bit better of a standing chance here. Um, Shia will also swap you to Resilience because apparently this attack boost isn't doing much. It doesn't really, like, honestly, this passive doesn't add that much damage to your unit. It's just a little bit extra. Um, I would rather take Resilience, like, for any kind of hard boss fight, that's more important. Sigmund's just tanky enough. He doesn't give a crap. Like, he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. That pansy enable to keep alive, that's, who do you think I am? I'm Sigmund. And he doesn't. He doesn't really need it. We did 2% damp. Do we did 2%? No, we did 1% per, I think. Whatever. Let's go one more time here. We'll probably next... Well, do I want to next it? I don't want to next it. I'll make you guys watch at least part of it and see if we can keep... If the resilience is enough to keep the old daddy Moog going. Um, if not, well, what are you going to do? Good Lord, Heartwatch is about to go down now. And this is the thing. Like This is the one downside, I would say, to Bell Rain is that, yes, she has really nice heals, but her heals are not consistent heals. They bounce around, they hit different people, um, whereas someone like Vesa or Ormus is going to heal everyone every time. So she is still kind of in a dookie sandwich, even with the backup healer like Cruz, who's not really like a dedicated healer, but can heal. Um, we do end up with some problems. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bell Rain up, oh, didn't heal Heartwatch. This is going to be a bad run. Well, I mean, we got to wave eight. That's really all Heartwatcher has to do. I mean, she died one round early, but... <clears throat> I mean, she did most of her job, so that's not a bad deal. And again, it probably wouldn't hurt to have an E1 um, Heartwatcher. Obviously, an E3 Heartwatcher would be ideal for staying alive. Um, but yeah, E1 Bell Rain. Again, she's an E1. She's not like an E3, but the randomized heal, I really could... I could I could see better. <laughs> I could see a way that could go in a better, a better way. Um, she's dead, actually, so... I mean, there goes the attack boost for the last couple rounds. Let's see what we ended up at. Over a billion, at least. We did break a billion there, 1.2. Not bad, not amazing. Um, Dasmo, 200 million damage. Nothing to write home about. Kind of bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, like... <sighs> Bell Rain, you're great, but at the same time, you also let me down sometimes. Because you have that weird random heal. Four random allies, and it seems to always miss the person that's like, I'm dying. She's like, don't worry, I'll get everybody else but you. <laughs> and it happens repeatedly. Um, wait, that's not even the right thing. It's basic heals. Only three random allies. Well, great. Well, just great. And of course, it might make a difference getting her up to E3. Um, that's not a bad idea. And I could always swap artifacts around and stuff. And like, don't go for just crit autumn. Build them for more survivability. You could. But at that point... If you can't survive in the late late game boss fights, even with healers, you're probably not good for the late game boss fights. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I feel like Daddy Moog needs a buff, and if he doesn't get one, I'll probably just end up swapping him for an Aspen or something, or an Amuvor if I could ever get enough copies for Amuvor. Um, that takes a long time. But we're pretty close to an E3 bell, right? And like I said, we've got our nine star food lined up here. I can make a nine star here pretty quickly. And that would be, uh, well, wait a minute. 
we're a little bit off still. Not super far. I mean, we can get a nine star cooked up here in a decent amount of time. But we're we're in the ballpark of an E3 bell rain, and we got a skin to open. Oh yeah, this one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me that. Give me that hot skin action. Ah, look at that. Over here, my skin avatars. So many avatars of skins. Looks good. Looks good, team. But I think that is gonna be it for today, guys. We didn't go through any of our replacements. So I totally brain whiffed it. Um, did we? Did I forget that we did? No, we definitely didn't. So maybe we'll do that sometimes. Whoopsie doodles. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And I will see you guys in the next one.